Hey all, it is Glam Game Rebecca, and in today's video, we are going over another StarCraft II campaign. This is called the Mobius Factor. This is a campaign where Kerrigan stomps across the map trying to destroy stuff and or gather stuff, and you have to beat her. There are quite a few little cutscenes and stuff in here that I'm not going to talk through, and then I will see you guys back in a second. Blades figured out who's been paying us to snatch up all them artifacts. Mobius's head honcho, Dr. Narud, claims a Zerg are attacking his main research campus on Tirador. He can't evacuate his people until all their artifact research is safe. A sterling reputation as a marshal many years ago, and I know you'll do your best to help us. Yeah, well, that was all a long time ago, Doctor. Looks like you've got one heck of a Zerg problem here. Where do you need us? We're ready to evacuate, but none of the teams I sent to purge the Foundation data cores have reported back. I need you to destroy those cores before the Queen of Blades finds them and discovers the coordinates of the remaining artifacts. The fate of the entire sector could hang in the balance. Class 12 side pattern detected. Recommend extreme caution. Kerrigan. All right then, Doc. Our timetable's shorter than we thought. We gotta move. All right, so you're gonna start off on the bottom right-hand corner. You're gonna wanna build towers that can shoot down air units, and you're gonna want at least four siege tanks, if not five. Um, that is your initial goal, and if you wanna build a barracks or something for Marines to hang out in to protect your main base while you go running around the map, then that is advisable. Um, you're going to need Goliaths and you're going to need Marines and healers. Um, really don't worry about anything else. Um, you are fighting Zerg, so anything with a flamethrower on it is also a bonus. Go ahead. Bad news. Analysis of the Queen of Blades search pattern complete. Calculating her ETA to the closest data call now. You can't leave well enough alone, can you, Jim? It was stupid of you to come here. I don't plan on staying long, darling. But I'll be damned before I let you get hold of those artifacts. I also find that even though your resources are limited, that researching any benefits that your people can have... I'm giving you control of our medevacs, Commander. You can use them to transport your men around the city and avoid most of the Zerg. Ready for dust off. Have uh, whether it is improved weapons or improved gear or anything like that. Um, that is also going to come in handy because the stronger complete. The raiders are here. We're saved. Your troops are the better they are against the Zerg. So um, when you initially start off on this map, you do get two medevacs. You're going to need to build more of those. Over here, up on the roof. So I would recommend building siege tanks and the um, the flamethrower guys, the fire bats, and the little. Uh, raiders, raiders, get us out of here! 
dune buggy looking cars that can that run one. around and shoot flames and goliaths <laughs> so you're going to need siege tanks at your main base you're going to need goliaths to go with you um to do ground and air you're going to need a little flamethrower guys because they're Where's quick they and they can run and plow through some zerg really quick marines that do ground and air units you're going to need the fireback guys because again zerg and then at least um, for every three troops that you build regular troops you're going to want um, a healer so and i would recommend if you are going map it's one down keep it moving boys of course the mobius data cores you won't get the rest of them oh, hell. at least she doesn't know where to find the other cores we better get to the next one fast. You. To map. Put an SCV in there. That's not something I didn't do, but I find that um, for Brutalisk, Stedman wanted one of those things to research. Reckon we can oblige him. Your mech units and stuff like the Goliaths, those are those come in handy because they can help, um, you know, repair your Goliaths and whatnot as. Sir, you better do something about that Nidus worm before our base gets overrun. As well as your Metavax, uh, because your Metavax will take damage due to the uh, Zerg, you know, things that are on the ground. So that's one of the main things that I've found. And then, of course, use your mercenaries as you need them. Um, there is a second base that you can take over no, just a little bit further over towards the center from no, where your was. initial map is. You want to get those people below you first and then go and take over that base. There is another one. Looking forward to it. Hey, hey, over here! On the top corner that you can get but i think ready um, for pickup it just depends on how much time you want to take to building let's see drop by i was very low on ammo life flights here oh, yeah, troops and i'm taking out infestation um you know because the the swarm is pretty prevalent on this map um and they constantly are dropping those um nidus worms so they're constantly pumping troops yes, to various places there's also nidus worms that will sit outside of your base and constantly pump troops out so you need to make sure that you have units down there that can can get rid of those as well which is why i recommend building siege tanks keeping them up on your platform building at least five aerial um target tower here's your hey man could use some help down here so that that will EDA, keep the um, you know air units at bay. Acknowledged. There are also. We couldn't reach the data cores. Help us out. Oh, other units and stuff that will try and come in and um, fly over and drop things like um, I don't know, one of those things. The overlords. Um, Anyways, they will they will drop troops in on your base. You always need to have something at home, and so um, that way you've got it. But also, the brutalist in the middle of the map. You're gonna want to take out the aerial uh, targets first before you try and drop your medevac in, because uh, or at least drop one thing of marines down so you can go, you know, get that down before you send your medevacs and anybody else in because they will take out your yep. medevacs and then your people are stuck on that little plateau where that brutalisk is and that is your zerg research that you need to get. There are um, a couple of different zerg research things that you can get. There are three data cores that you have to take out and basically it is building smart and making sure that your home base stays protected while you are running around the map securing the rest of your men. I've seen through your Dr. Narud's pathetic charade. I know what the artifacts really are. And they will be mine. Whatever they are, Kerrigan, I sure as hell ain't letting you have them. That Queen of Blades really is quite a nuisance, isn't she? I think there's like nine Ready different plots of where you can go pick up people on this map. So keep that in mind as well, that you will run around this map and pick up various troops. 
um, and they will like be like, hey, come over here and come get us. And they will do that every time you get anywhere near close enough to them. And you'll need a medevac so, to come and get them. Um, there's also troops over there next to the next tower that you can see in the center of the map at the top. Um, that's just where you can extend your base. You can extend a base over there. So I would also recommend building that out uh, sooner rather than later. And um, there is one more set of troops that you can pick up between um, your base and their base. So you're going to need... You never could recognize a lost cause, could you, Jim? to send a medevac over there so you Loud can pick them up as well. Let's go. I'm in deep! Hey, Raiders! Come pick us up! Alright, so by the time you've gotten to this part of the map, you should have most of the yes, troops. It'll tell you... I think it tells you whether or not there's any more to find. I think yes. there's two more on the map once you've gotten to this point of the map. And I know some people, what they do is they'll build their second command center on the main base and then they'll fly it over. The only thing I don't like about doing that is the fact that, of course, there are troops patrolling between this base and the next base, so I recommend not doing that unless you land people in between on that plateau where, you, of course, you pick up your second set of free troops. Um, if you do go um, and do that, then, I, like I said, I recommend that you take out those aerial target towers because what they're going to do is they're going to pew-pew your command center the entire time it is trying to fly over to the other station. And you're not going to be able to... Um, to get to get it where it needs to be without it being destroyed, which is, you know, kind of bad. Also, um, if I haven't said by now, avoid Kerrigan at all costs. She will decimate your troop numbers. Like, seriously, destroy them. <laughs> You're even more desperate than I thought. You can't really believe this plan of yours has even a chance of working. So on this map, um, you can build as many troops as you have resources for. I find that building a certain number of troops and defending certain things is the best way to go for me. Just for the simple fact that you don't need a whole lot of troops to do this map. If you go from one objective to the next, you can get it done pretty quickly. Um, I think this entire map took me less than 30 minutes and that was you know running around doing random stuff um i have sped up most of the clips times two so this is a little bit faster than just sitting here watching the entire thing at normal speed if you have questions feel free to ask them in the comment section down below i try i'm trying to do better when i'm doing these voiceovers so that i have more information to provide to you guys, um, like what to build, of course, you know, what troops that work the best for this, and um, just some tips and tricks that you can use along the way. I'm trying to do better at getting those out there so that everybody has the best information possible. Also, until you have the troop strength, do not go after that Brutalisk. He will tear the hell out of your troops. I am dead serious about that because um, he is in a part take out that um, aerial, um, I forget what those things are called, the things that pew pew your flying stuff. Because um, you want to make sure that they are safe and whatnot. And that thing did kill quite a few of my troops. Oh look, there's more people to go pick up. So basically you're running around this map, you're dropping people off, you're picking up troops as you go. Um, I always I recommend that. trying to Somebody, leave people. What's up? Hey, Rainer. We saw some movement over at Rob's guns. There might be some survivors in there. Numbers, boys. Pull on like right. the buildings and stuff, so you can keep you stuff down below. There are certain troops that can fire back at you while you are up on like a plateau or something, but most of them can't. They're just going to run back and forth, especially like the the big ultralists and stuff like that those are going to be the ones that you'll find that um you can take out easier on top of the building because they can't really attack you up there unless um one of the swarm host guys the overlords comes and drops some troops in your head or a night of swarm pops up that's the only other thing um that i can think of that would like kind of ruin your day 
Now, with this map, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you build troops, you destroy the the caches of information. You can expand to build a second base if you need to. If you have a good grasp on your building and build only specific troops, then that way you won't have as many casualties. Build some more rounded troops, like I said. You want two Marines and one fire bat to a healer. Um, you want at least five siege tanks when you are um, defending your base. Two on the, the entrance, one on the left-hand side, and, and two on the far right-hand side so that you can pew pew any of those nidus worms that want to pop up your base because she has a uh, tendency to pop those up. Over here! Marines! We are leaving! You gonna give me orders? Also, make sure you have at least one empty medevac at all times. That way you can run around and pick up troops and make sure that you are picking up all the guys that are loose on this map. Like, if you look, it says allies here or something like that. That way you can tell where um, you will have troops at and you can go and pick up more troops. You know, free troops is always a, is a bonus for me. Um, I think that it is... It is nice to have all this extra help because number one, you are not spending the crystal to build them. They're free troops. You don't have to worry about um, them, you know, eating up the resources that you do have. Not that I had any issues with crystal. If you look, I have over 3,000 crystal at this point, and I'm, I didn't even expand to the second base. I, I didn't need to. So it just depends on how fast you want to get um, stuff done and built and whatnot. You, you really don't need the second base if you can serve what you're building. And, you know, these are easier. Um, it's an easy map for me. I, I think it really is an easy map. It's an easy win. You just have to be strategic about how you, you do things. And by dumping, um, oh yeah, that was a bad move. Look at, they killed half my medics before I could get all my troops out because of those damn aerial things. Anyways, so this map is basically one. Um, let me know if you have any questions down below, and thank you for watching, Confirmed. and hopefully you enjoy the these. The final data core has been destroyed. We should evacuate immediately. Coming through. All right, Doctor. You want to tell me why the Queen of Blades wants these artifacts so damn bad? She fears their power, just as she fears the Zelnaga who created them. The Zelnaga created both the Protoss and the Zerg, Commander. They were the gods of their time. <laughs>